Okay, here was a great find. <clears throat> On this little uh, negative ion generator, the necklace one that I've been showing them a bunch of videos, I pulled it apart, and down inside that was a tiny anion generator, negative ion generator, and I found it on Amazon. And it works supposedly on 3 to 5 volts DC input, puts out 2.5 kV on the outside, but I found out it'll run all the way down to 1.5 volts. And so with that in mind, I went this direction. This is a, a solar panel that puts out 3 or 4 volts in direct sunlight and 70 milliamp per hour uh, when it's in direct sunlight and it'll it'll work in indirect sunlight too and this battery right here something i was working with last year it's actually a lithium ion 1.5 volt battery and how they do that is they take a regular 3.7 lithium ion battery inside that then they have a circuit here that uh, not only protects it for charging and discharging but kicks the voltage down or drops it down to 1.5 and that worked really really good for this and this is the, probably my most sensitive um, um, electrostatic motor that uh, works the best on the low, uh, low um, amount of electrostatic charge and that, that worked really really good and um, I don't know if you can, probably can't see that very well, but there's probably not going to focus. It's not going to focus well. But that's the specs on that. It's um, called an anion generator. I call it a negative ion generator, but it spits out those uh, negative ions out there, which is the high voltage. And then it's just uh, hooked onto this little... Uh, solar charging rig that I've had for years and years that's got a, a blocking diode here and it charges up the battery here and like I say inside that is the larger voltage battery with a circuit that drops it down it's also a protection circuit and um, we'll just get that going here and try that for a while but anyway uh, when you have something that'll work on those lower voltages it opens up doorways and uh, you can do a lot more when you don't have to have higher voltages uh, the downside is uh, you're talking um, 20 milliamps to, to run that and on my long-running motors uh, they're down on the microamps so this this is not a very efficient way to turn something but it's different and uh, I always like to try something that's a little bit different Thanks for watching.